Okay. Hey, folks, it's Bobo the Vulture. I'm the Mysterious JG. And this is Let's Play Together Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Yeah. So I'm gonna do you a solid, man. Hey, let's do me a solid and, uh, continue to find, uh, cool new stuff in Zanzibar land. Okay, I failed my mission. <laughs> Is this some place we've we ever been in here before? Yeah, I'm not sure that we've been here before. No, but the all it does is provides us with access down to beat the. No, wait, no, don't go in there because it'll just bring us down to the basement to laundry, the the garbage crusher room again. Are we sure? You're gonna take us there? I, pro I guess so. I mean, you can call um, what's her lady, but she said that there are. Yeah, they all go to the same place. They all go to the garbage thing because that's the garbage bin. I won the garbage can. And we can go here, but it's just gonna lead us back to the uh, desert. Well, the I, know that, I know that we wanted to explore this first building, um, but I'm... You know, as it happens, this will probably be the last video of this session. I'd like to take a crack at that Red Falcon guy, <laughs> or Red Flash, or whatever his name is. This is... This is where we need to be uh, going to get get that going. You know what I mean? I mean, I suppose that's true. But um, if we are missing stuff, we're gonna have to backtrack for it all over again. Yeah. But uh, I don't know what we'd be missing. We've got the grenades. That's what we need to fight him. Well, yes. We can get to him now. It's also not that tough to backtrack back. I don't know. I'm just. But you want to kill Red I, I just want to take you a have blood shot. Lust. I got a bloodlust. You can only be sated by killing some guy you don't even really know. I'm pretty, pretty sure he's a trap. Pretty sure he's a bad guy. I mean, wait. Oh, never mind. This is probably as easy to an easy as this is about as easy a way to go through as the other one. Let's say if you wanted to walk through the swamp again, you could get directly into the building. That's true, but this probably is just as easy. It is a few more screens, but um, I got it involves soldiers, but uh, it still manages to be less annoying. Or so you'd think. <laughs> this is always fun too. Oop. Dumbass! <laughs> His buddy's like, yeah, that guy. Just well, he walked that. through, so I know it's safe now. <laughs> Uh, he's not here. Isn't this about when they usually say he's not here? Yeah, yeah I guess. He's not here, and by he I mean that guard I came down here with. And by doing that, you've cleared this floor. Well, I mean this room. So you can go in here. I can't carry another- I can't eat another bite! Until I eat some more, then I can get another bite. What was that? I guess. Oh, they're in unison, that's good. Think as one unit, I can't care anymore. I really can't. Look, I'm stuffed. I'm sorry. And there was ammo over here. Look, I could eat it, but it would just—it would be going anywhere. It was straight to my hips. Picked up the ammo. Yeah, boy. <laughs> what is with you? <laughs> These four screens going. Yeah, boy. I love airfields and deserts. Yeah, boy. This was the site of a pretty significant triumph. You know, they yeah. defeated a freaking hind helicopter with your bare hands, except not bare hands. Now we have the front door key. We are that awesome. It will take us most of the way up the uh, yeah. doom spiral. Slash doom screamy. Hey, there's you nobody up in the rest back. of this coil, it looks like. Nobody all up in here, up in here. Yeah, so you can get to the... Get a uh, straight shot to the boss that I want to fight. Yes. 
good stuff. It might not even be an extra length video. Well, it will probably be slightly, but it doesn't matter. It's gonna be a boss fight. This is excitement, folks. Well, if we get In card case five you didn't out of this guy, yeah. Was. If we get card five out of this guy, then we can basically tell ourselves that we're probably more than half. Without, this play session got us at least halfway through the game, because we've had kind of well, I guess we should be revealing details, but over the course of a fairly few play sessions, I don't know when we'll next get a chance to pick this thing up. But uh, I've been impressed thus far. No, I'm like I'm enjoying this game. This is good tactical espionage action right here. Uh, I like some of the set pieces from Snake's Revenge, but, uh, yeah, this definitely feels more like a Metal Gear game than that did. Yeah. Although, that, most of the same stuff is in I, I think that game gets a lot more. It uh, gets more stick than it deserves. Yeah. And gets no carrot. Yes. Uh, you got grenades already. Yeah, I'm gonna clear myself out some, I don't know that I had to clear out that, but... Stay clear of that. That was stupid of me. Actually, I was about to say you might as well get yourself out the body armor, but no, it only affects gun blasts. I well, think. I guess this is one way to find out. Not that I'm going to intentionally get hit with any, but uh, you probably don't want to be hanging around up here, here yeah. anyway. You probably want to fight them as much on this screen as you can. Drops at a targeted point. Ain't so bad. Not so bad. Luckily, it's got a pretty big explosive radius because I keep running Being away, which near, causes him to run. I mean, he is throwing grenades. He probably should run away from them. Yeah, you got a good point there, Bobo. <laughs> I am. They come up sometimes. It's good. And you know, I'm, I'm not trying to belittle your co or your achievement or anything, but that didn't seem like it was too bad. No, it's completely awesome. That battle's actually really tough. No, I was, uh, yeah, that was pretty straightforward. I mean, it was a lot easier than the battle with the grenade chucking three stooges from, uh... Yeah, from, uh, Snake's, Snake's Revenge. Revenge. I mean, that's a... Ah, yeah, we could have been searching for this card key all day. 30. Uh, oh, okay, so this is the top floor. Oh, well, there's another hinded yeah. helicopter waiting for you. Yes. This is the t in the top floor of this tower where Dr. What's-His-Face is supposed to be? Cool. It's 16. The door to the roof is painted shut to prevent trespassers. Okay, painted, huh? But it's jury rigged, so you can probably blow it up pretty easily with plastic explosives. See ya! Well, I'm glad we have some, because otherwise that would be really annoying. Yes. Kessler. Time for your devastating Kessler wave. The soul stink win. There are two ways for the enemy to find you. One is by sight, the other is by sound. Also, there's odor, but we're not going to get into that. Sound travels about 340 meters per second at room temperature. If the wind is right, it can travel enormous distances. They have a lot of interesting and real scientific facts in these games that really don't actually come into play. <laughs> yeah. The key is to operate silent but violent. If you make a noise, get ready for a fight immediately. Over and out. Also, don't drink uh, your urine unless you have to. Mind the gap. This is all snakes. Please strangers. tell me about animals. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for that guy to make his big comeback. Oh. Uh. Uh. Hey, explosive. It is multiple. They can be detonated off screen. So the way that it works is mm -hmm. you set it with the weapon button, then walk away and use the item button. Okay. So set one. Have you set it? There you go. 
It's an old, like an old pro with this. Well, there's a guard moving around in there or something. No, it was a pigeon. There's a pigeon. And no mines. There might be pitfalls, though. You know who would tell us about a pigeon, don't you? Yes, I think I do. Hi, uh, Zachary Dean, you're aggressively cute over here. It's like climbing on me. Yeah. Bumping his head against the uh, controller. Okay. Um, maybe this asshole will finally tell us something. The salt snake, come in. Hello, that's a wood pigeon. Specially trained to act as a carrier pigeon. Did you know that there are over 260 species of pigeon in the world? That's fascinating. They are 40 centimeters long and found from Europe all the way to South Asia. Dr. Ma probably brought that one with him. That's nice. Glad to know that. Pigeons are timid and very sensitive to noise. If you get too close, they'll sense you and fly away. Yet for all that, they're notorious gluttons. They feed mostly on grain. I got an idea. If you had some beans or potatoes, you could use them as bait. Son of a bitch. I got a large order of fries myself. <laughs> I just got them. Alright. Don't have to find a burger stand out on the battlefield, eh? Over and out. <laughs> Fantastic. Stupid bird. It's gonna use my rations. No one has ham. There you go. Beans. Beans and meatballs, beans and franks, beef and potatoes. So, can you just set it? Did you just set it down? What is it? Is it a triangle button to use it? I forget how you use it. You press circle to recover life. What if you do it out here? Circle is making me punch. Is there a bird feeder I'm supposed to be using? Oh no, man. What if you lie down and use it? You get up. Well, bird, calm down. Move all your equipment with him. But it's lying down. Call up. I'm here, little bird. Why do you fly away? What if you stood still while the bird was on the string and allowed it to approach you? Would it approach you? Would it land? Would it float? Will it float? <laughs> You've got to tire out sometime, bird. Wait, seriously, that's not it? That doesn't count? Alright, Kojima, what is this shit? <laughs> Give me a friggin' catch the bird button then. Don't tell me there's some item that is called green and potatoes that I need to use. Well, it seems to be able to walk outside of your field of movement. Something, something, something. Sorry. Help, Wiz, Ohio, Keo, Marv. Only the H is in lowercase. Some kind of message from Dr. Marv. What could it mean? <laughs> this city just showed you that it's full of people willing to translate this code. So, what could it mean? What could it mean? This is all snake, you understand this crap? <laughs> all the doors here are controlled by computer. So, I see cards. Great. 
Souls need to come in. Maybe we have to call Dr. What's his name? Wiss, Ohio. Maybe Wiss is short for Wisconsin. And Ohio is Ohio. Names of U.S. states, but I thought Dr. Marv had never been to the... Uh, he's giving us a secret code to tell us he's located in either Wisconsin or Ohio. <laughs> Ah. McDonald Miller might know something about it. Over and out. Wiz? Perhaps Wiz? he's talking about how you shouldn't drink your own urine until you've exhausted your other fluid supplies. Yes. The saw snake, come in and please don't talk about spit. Wiz, Ohio. Only the H is lowercase? Hmm. I've got it. It's a digital number. You see what I'm getting at, don't you, snake? <laughs> Oh, a snake. Oh, you did, yes. Over and out. You're the only one who doesn't know. Seriously? No, it's a... A digital number. Oh, like in a touchtone phone. Actually, I was thinking, um... Oh, well, wait. What does a W look like when you put it in a calculator? Or how do you get one? Oh, um... I forget there is... Because you get a 1, a 5, a 0, a 1, and a 0. I guess it's like a 3 that's turned sideways. Well, here, should I write it down write, here? Write it down. Code. We'll have to... We'll have to use our brains on this one. W a digital number. Help! Alright, but it's... Maybe it's, it's a clue to Dr. Marb's frequency. Yeah. So... Ohio... Oh! You see, um, upside down, 140, it looks like OHI. Oh, okay, yeah. So, so it's, it's... 51. 51, and then what's the last? No, 51? So oh, and the M is... The W and the O nothing. are irrelevant. Okay. 51, cool. But look at okay. it. Oh, it's not a very... Oh, he's actually explaining it, as I was not reading the screen. Almost as it someone is telling you, almost as it someone is telling you to read it upside down. Yeah, he's basically stole me. Okay, well, no. I'm, sorry, I'm retarded. <laughs> you figured it out while we ignored the message. I don't want to read that again though, because I kind of talked. I... Try turning it upside down. Yeah, sorry. Do it. <laughs> Do it now. <laughs> the code. It's right there. The salt snake come in. What's he saying? I can't understand a word. Better ask Madnar. Can I get you in on a conference call here? <laughs> <laughs> this is Salt Snake. Come in. Marv can only speak Czech and Slovakian. He's also the very type, and especially so in his current predicament. <laughs> Thank you, Albert. <laughs> what about you, Madnar? I can only speak Russian and English. Wait, I've got it. Gustavo can speak to him. You speak to him in in in, uh, in 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 Spanish, and then I'll speak to him in Amer. We'll get Ricky out here, and uh, yeah. In order to speak to Gustavo, you're going to need to climb to the top of another building and find three more bosses to equip the antenna. Gustavo, is that the STB woman who is protecting you? No, I have to protect myself from that woman's STB. Oh, okay, right, right, right. She'll be able to understand him, and Marv trusts her as well. Is this Gustavo still alive? Nope. If, if not, I really don't know why we're talking about this. <laughs> nope, she's dead. Not to worry. Gustavo's no ordinary woman. She's a seasoned profession. She's gonna make you feel like it's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> she's a professional. Yes, I... When we were captured, she alone managed to steal an enemy uniform and escape. She's actually working for the enemy, but that won't be revealed until later. I don't know that. I'm just throwing that out there. Again, I don't know the details of how this plot resolves. No doubt she's hiding somewhere inside Zanzibar land, waiting for her chance. Does she have a radio? Yes. 
It was taken away right after we were captured. The only thing I know is that she's wearing an enemy uniform. There must be some reason some of these messages scroll really slow. There must be some kind of clue I can use. Here's your clue. She's a woman. Don't be fooled by her enemy disguise. There are no woman soldiers in this fortress. So find her in the women's realm. That's all you need to know. And yeah, they pulled that same trick in uh, Metal Gear Solid, didn't they? Yeah, there. Gustava is a woman. Why not set up an ambush someplace that only a woman would go? Like the ladies' restroom. I'll put a Claymore mine in one of the women's rooms, and when she gets blown up, I'll know it was her. <laughs> it's over and out. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hearing this shit, Master Miller? <laughs> What do you want now? The <laughs> limit of your ability to survive depends on the limits of your ability to trick your own you. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, I uh, could be in trouble. <laughs> well, alright. So, uh. So, we're gonna make my way to an elevator so that we can end the video and the session. And, uh. Yeah, it is a hell of an elevator. Hell of a Wait, look out for the pitfall! Oh, jeez, yeah. Okay, um... That would've been a really bad way to get myself killed at this point. I'm glad you said something. It doesn't appear as though... I, I think you walked over where it was and didn't... I mean, it may be disarmed once the boss is gone or something. Or it might be there and I just barely missed it. I'm not gonna go find out. Oh, no, no, I would not suggest. No, 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 you have done well. Do you yeah. feel like you're in control of this situation? <laughs> No, yeah, you've, so you've got the uh, you got the you got the oh, control, I have the control. Here control. So Hell Invader doesn't go all the way to the top, but it is going back down to the first floor, where I will leave. We'll get the little <laughs> animation. I'll save just in case, and uh, we're good. Yeah, and we will have accomplished. I feel like we have to find there. a ladies' room somewhere, but uh, that might be when we go back to uh, the first building again. Hey, sewage system. There's yeah, got to be bathrooms. We could, we could trace them backwards. Yes, I'm sure that will work. We'll find a secret warp zone while working on the train. Uh, yes, but let's go ahead and save the data. And when we come back next time, we're going lady hunting. You know it's late as night, and the feeling's right. You know it's late as night, overnight. But yes, that'll be uh, the thing that we'll do. Yo, Chuck, they're running scared, man. Yes, they're running scared. For, for ladies' night, yes. they're terrified. They're what's going to happen to them? ladies. <laughs> but I tell I you what. the ladies are running scared, because like, oh, okay. this ladies' night has become strangely violent. It involves traps being set in the ladies' bathroom. <laughs> Dark delusions aplenty. <laughs> Anyhow, folks, this is Bobo the Vulture. And the mysterious JG. And, Along uh, with Rachel. <laughs> yes. Oh, I am so happy for you. I love you. Oh, rock. <laughs> rock. <laughs> yes. Uh, but uh, this is uh, this is Metal Gear 2. Solid Snake. Uh, we're playing it together. Even though it's a one-player game. Yeah. Uh, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.